Day two of opening weekend here at Globe Life Field as Baylor baseball faced Oregon, a tough opponent who lost in the Super Regionals last year. The Bears coming off a tough loss to Oregon on Friday, hoping to find their first win of the season, but a late game spark from the Ducks sent them celebrating all the way back to Eugene. And a strong start for the Bears with the lead through the fourth. Mason Greer gets things going here with an absolute blast over the wall to widen it to nothing. The first home run of the season for Baylor. In top of the third, Hunter Toplansky at the dish here. Shoots a floater to left field. It drops and Enzo Apodaca trots home, bringing in one more for the Bears to make it 3-0. Top of the fourth now, Bears stay hot. Enzo rips this one straight to center. Goes for the diving snag, the ball escapes. Court Castle finds the dish, and that's a big time triple for the Gonzaga transfer. Baylor up big this time for nothing. But bottom of the fifth, different story. Ducks bring in three to tie it up. And next inning, Ryan Cooney rides it to right field here with a diving score for Mason Neville. And Oregon takes the lead for the first time all day. Ducks widen it 7 4 final, and the Bears drop game two in disappointing fashion. Uh, you know, we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them for a, for a long point in that game. And so there's 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 good things that are happening, and I think that I think that we're learning. Hopefully, we can uh, keep our head up, survive survive this toughness, uh, you know, and uh, and not let it get us down. And uh, you know, there's 52 games, 53 games left, so uh, we we'll, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Despite two losses to start the season, some big-time bright spots for the Bears right off the bat. Mason Greer with two hits against Nebraska and a big time home run over the wall against the Ducks, making his dad Rusty Greer proud at the home of his former team. Oh uh, yeah, he played for the Rangers for a long time, so to be able to hit a home run in the Rangers ballpark uh, uh, where his former team plays is uh, definitely a cool thing to have done. I just say, you know, it probably meant more to him if we did it over at the ballpark in Arlington than at Globe Life, you know, where his dad was uh, you know, such a Ranger, a Ranger legend, but uh, you know, I mean, Mason's just a baseball player. He's going to be a good competitive guy, and uh, you know, I'm glad he's with us. The Bears now looking to end the series on a high note when they face number nine Tennessee right back here on Sunday with that first pitch at 6:30. But that's going to do it for sports here from Globe Life Fields. We'll be right back.